Welcome to Spectrum Protect version 716. In this version of the Operations Center, we have a new feature that allows the utilization of Aspera FastP technology in conjunction with Replicate Node for container storage pools and Protect Storage Pool for directory container storage pools on X Linux version 716 Spectrum Protect servers. Now, Aspera FASP technology helps improve your data throughput over a network that's experiencing data transfer delays or high packet losses. The Aspera code is shipped as part of the version 716 X Linux server, but you will need to enable the Aspera functionality. And in order to do that, First, you'll need to determine if Aspera FASP is appropriate for your node replication and protect storage pools. If you're currently seeing a data transfer operation delay that exceeds 50 milliseconds and or a packet loss that's greater than 0.5%, then Aspera might be a good fit. Now, networks can vary widely, so even if these two criteria are not being met, it's possible you'll still benefit from Aspera FASP. You do not have to install any code that comes as part of the Spectrum Protect server code, but you will need to obtain and install an Aspera FASP license, and you will need a license for each of the Spectrum Protect servers, so one for the primary and one for the target server. You can obtain a try and buy license by sending an email to alliances at asperasoft.com. Once you receive those licenses, you'll copy them into the bin directory on the Spectrum Protect source and Spectrum Protect target server. And that's slash op slash tivoli slash tsm slash server slash bin on the Linux servers. You'll then set the permissions to 755 for the license file by issuing a chmod You'll need to check the availability for the default ports for Aspera FASP. The defaults are 15,100 to 15,199. If you want to change those, you can go into the dsmserve.opt file and set the FASTP beg port and the FASTP end port options. And then you'll need to either enable the Aspera FASP by going into the Operations Center into storage, replication, detail properties, and turn on the Aspera FASP, or by setting up a replication pair inside of the operation center. If your replication pairs are already set up, you can simply do the command line replicate node or protect storage pool and give it the option of transfer method equals FASP. And so this would work for any of the command line scripted or scheduled replications and protect storage pools you have. Okay, so in the Operations Center, in order to turn on Aspera FASTP, you'll go into the storage, into replication, and then you'll choose to set up a server pair, assuming you don't have a node replication set up yet. And so we're going to replicate these two servers. You'll see here the new option to enable Aspera FASP, so we'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll just finish the setup for the replication pair. Okay, here you can see our new replication pair. If you had already set up replication pairs and you wanted to enable a spare FASP technology, you could click on the server pair, go into details, drill into properties, and here you now have the Aspera FASP option and you could enable it from there or disable it. So now when replication protect storage pool occurs between the 716 version servers, and both of these are X Linux, they will use Aspera FASP technology. Even if you've turned on 
a spare FASP or set the option to be transfer method equals FASP. When it comes to node replication, there's a possibility that it might not be used. Spectrum Protect will go through with an algorithm and tabulate the extents that need to be replicated for a specific object. And if the sum total of these extents exceeds 100 megabytes, then we will transfer it with FASP. Otherwise, we'll go back to the default of TCP IP. In order to know if FASP is being utilized, messages will show up in the activity log, and you will see this ANR 3744i, where we can see that the Aspera FASP data transfer started. Likewise, you'll see the ANR 3745i when it has ended. On the target server, you will also see these ANR 3744i and ANR 3745i messages. You can also do a query sessions, and this will show for a running replicate node or protect storage pool command if either the communication method of TCP IP or FASTP is being utilized. If you're using the command line or a script to kick off replicate node or protect storage pool, there is a new option that is called transfer method equals FASP. And this will be how you enable FASP for those types of operations. So your command would now look like replicate node, the node name, and then transfer method equals FASP. So in summary, version 716 on X Linux servers can now utilize Aspera FASP technology to optimize the WAN transfer when doing node replication or protect storage pool for container storage pools. It does require a license, but you can get a 30-day try-and-buy license if you'd like to give it a whirl. Thank you very much.